So this is the front part of the building of the mikva in Khmelnik. After it was abandoned, obviously, after World War II. But thousands of Jews from the Khmelnik Jewish community were deported to Treblinka. After being abandoned, the building, just like many similar structures, was nationalized. And for decades, up until the 90s, it was used as a little factory producing mineral waters and soft drinks. Obviously, using the water from the mikva itself, because there was a fresh spring all the time in the bottom. So, ironically, for decades after the war, the local population of this territory was still born and bred on the water from the Mekfa in Chmielnik. We are in Chmielnik today. A city in Świętokrzyskie district, about 20 kilometers south of Kielce, roughly an hour drive north of Krakow. This city before the war was close to 80% Jewish. We're inside one of the buildings which is just of the market square ground floor of the structure. This building, up until about 10 years ago, was acting as a club, as a music club. But the owner of this building has always been very much interested and alarmed about stories that people told in the town about the history of the structure. The building is most likely about 100, 150 years old. The stories people told were the stories of a Jewish owner before the war, or actually the Jewish community owning it. And the stories were about a ritual bathhouse. So about 10 years ago, he commissioned a little excavation. The entire underground part of this building, since most likely the war time, was completely filled in with rubble. You can still see under the stairs, because there's another section of the structure, how it was filled in. It was all filled in with concrete, crushed concrete and bricks from other structures. But following his interest, he commissioned an excavation, so all of the rubble was removed. And the result of that was stunning. A fully operational pre-war mikva of a pretty large capacity was discovered with a constant flow of fresh water from the source, from this natural spring that is located in the middle of this basin. The water is absolutely crystal clear. There are still some remnants of uh, kind of basic polychromis which were imitating stone on the walls of the structure and a little bit of tailing so you can see the tiles the territory is enormous it's a very large capacity building traditionally in mikvas in Poland the tiles, the usually white tiles that were made were completely plain on the surface but in the back part where the tile is touching the structure of 
floor, a wall, where the glue comes, there was a Magandavid, either with a circle or without a circle. So what you can see here is the flooring, and in the flooring, the actual outprints after the tiles were removed. Some of the original tiles are obviously still here. These are the remnants of various papers that were found in different buildings, attics, basements around the city of Chmielnik. Mostly from the 20s when it comes to the correspondence. Side notes, calculations, choreo letters, insurances. Life. But also various prayer books. Cutlery. An edition of Talmud printed in Warsaw in eighteen eighty. 